Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games, hosted by three very kind and extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you for joining us. My name is Tommy Dasilo, and joining me, as always... Ben Vanell here, Tommy, no time for bits. It's going to be a long episode. Mm-hmm. There's a lot to talk about i got this time week. for bits. How about this? This is a podcast! That's from the movie 400. Oh! oh yeah! Right. Remember that movie? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, this episode, very special, episode 400, where we will review minute by minute... <laughs> you are actually talking quicker <laughs> and an album <laughs> fell on you from uh, the new studio we've got. The ghosts Finally. of podcast past wow. don't want us to reanalyze what we've already done. Uh, yeah. we've, we've needed some uh, visual content for the for, to get people over to y- the YouTube. Yeah, if you want to see Ben get clocked by uh, a, a, a record, and a record. we cut out the 35 minutes he was unconscious on the floor. <laughs> yeah. floor. Uh, yes, uh, Japanese breakfast had to go at me. Mm-hmm. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah, I'll have to nice. nosh down on a Japanese breakfast. All right, there you go. We're going to be, yes. Zuma's Revenge. We're, we're, we're doing the, the movie 400 r- uh, review. Yeah, mm. I yeah. predict, yeah. and I don't think this will come back to bite me, okay. yep. that they will make a sequel to 300 called 400, okay. mm-hmm. where they just have a bigger fight because there's an extra 33% of them. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's my prediction. Do you think that will spoilers for the movie Three Hundred? Mm-hmm. That will change the result. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry if you haven't caught up since uh, thirty-five BC or whatever it was, yeah. but uh, uh, no, okay, they'll yeah. still lose. Xerxes yeah. uh, is a king, and we still whatever. But uh, <laughs> they're taking a long time on this sequel. They've really been sitting on this script. Well, for they a already while. did a sequel called like Three Hundred Rise of the Spartan. Or oh something, yeah, right? Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that is crazy that they didn't call it Three Hundred and Two or whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three hundred and two. Well, they skip three hundred and one for some. Because three hundred and one is three hundred. Yeah. That's three hundred one. Oh, you need to make three hundred two. Okay. Yes. It'll confuse people like Mortal Kombat one. Because in the movie three hundred, the that one is the audience. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. you're the, the you're the three hundred and first. You're three hundred and first. The yeah. unknown soldier sitting in your little cinema tomb. Yep. <laughs> no, you're right. That four hundred makes the most sense, and then they could do three hundred and fifty. And that's just like a bunch of other stunts and stuff. That oh, that's like the comic book that comes out between <laughs> the two. <laughs> the talking bridge. Heads interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How they dealt with COVID while they oh, were doing those fights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. reason uh, we're talking about this is you'd get the reason I made a prediction before is because, yeah, it's our 400th episode. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so it's time to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> To go back and wank over ourselves. I thought you meant punish do... ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we get it, man. It is going to be. We've we've gotten some yeah. clips. Partly, uh, Ben's dug some up. Yes. And partly, some listeners have dug some up. Mm-hmm. And what we thought we'd do, rather than you know, a lot of people go back when they hit a milestone and go, "Here are the greatest moments from right. Seinfeld." It's about to end. So here's Jerry fucking saying some shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going back and looking at all the. Predictions, we, not all, we, we've gotten some, <laughs> we can't be comprehensive, yes. but we've gotten some of the predictions that we've made in the past, Yep. and now here in hindsight land, we're going to look back and play some clips of those and talk about them. Yes, mm. and because I, we are in a rare position for a comedy podcast where we don't just come on here and do bits. We are talking about things that we think are going to happen or rumours or whatever. Yeah. So this is one of the few... We're po- journalists, yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the few comedy podcasts where nearly everything on it is dated within six months of release. Mm-hmm. I would say that that's not one of the few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dated in a different way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Proven we, to be factually incorrect. It's instead not the of just specific words we've chosen to no, say that no, are going to no. come right. back to bite us. Well, yeah. I hope not. You and I haven't listened to these clips, Adam. <laughs> and ben I'm, might be doing some absolute gotcha journey. Journalism oh, yeah. Us. I've just included clips where I'm still funny in them, and <laughs> yeah. you guys are really crooked. If I lose my Oscars hosting <laughs> job because of this episode, uh, I, I'm dreading this. Me too. Mm-hmm. I... If I shout in a cave, I regret what I've said by the time the echo comes back and hits me. Mm -hmm. Like saying regret instead of regret Mm -hmm. just then. It's a constant erasure of Mm -hmm. all of my memory Mm -hmm. that I need to perform to survive. (laughs) Well, we also, last week we were talking about putting this together and being like, this is kind of good timing because, you know, next week we'll be talking about Final Fantasy XVI. This is just happening to fall in a week where <laughs> no games coming out. Looks like there's no news. Mm-hmm. A prediction o- we made last week was that there won't be a Nintendo Direct <laughs> until September or something. Yeah, I did not include that prediction. Just yeah. listen to last week's episode. And for then that. overnight, there's been an absolute honker of a direct to mm. tear into. But no, we uh, we mentioned last week that we were doing this 
we're men of our word mm-hmm. sometimes. Well, other than a bunch of the words you're about to hear, <laughs> yeah. probably. If this is all just <laughs> promises we made <laughs> that are all broken. So, yeah, I think, what are we calling this? Like, uh, uh, Episode 400. <sighs> <laughs> It's got a logic to it. A little it. obtuse. Because oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I think the yeah, the idea was like four, like three uh, things that we got wrong. Our yeah. snubs Basically. and flubs. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Our nips and slips. I think I've made that joke last week. I think so There's too. There's no way mm. to check the tape because wow. we don't have the check technology to go back and listen to old episodes. This last yes. week's episode sounds like a hell of an episode. <laughs> <laughs> I um, wish I could be back there right now. So yeah, I, uh, I went and got as many as I could. I wanted to get 400 things that we got wrong, <laughs> but we haven't got that many things wrong. Wrong, yeah, so. yeah. And, yeah. There's obviously going to be some that maybe when you listen to this, you'll think, "Oh, what about this one?" We've got some. Mm. We're going to do some. Yeah. It's not. It's not comprehensive. I I didn't have 399 hours in the past uh, seven days to, to listen back to everyone. No, that took you eight years. Yeah, mm. exactly. To have that many hours. Yeah. Which you're in a coma often. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Records I'm a, I'm keep falling sleeper. on your head. <laughs> After ep two, we were like feeling good about this, boys. Probably time to start planning for ep 400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, should we start getting into the clips? To let people know as well, Tommy, we've plugged Tommy into the, the Matrix, the recorder. Yes, yep. he's jacked in, mm-hmm. and he's going to be DJing live. <laughs> yeah, yes. we're going to be sitting here listening to this in mm-hmm. real time, and mm-hmm. you'll be hearing it in real time too. I'm going to do some mashups as well. I'm going to drop a bit of Earth, Wind, and Fire in. <laughs> I fucking right. love that. God, that would make this <laughs> listenable for <laughs> me. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> When you got things wrong about Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You've, uh, It'll be in there. You've, sc- you've oh. scared the headlines. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, if this you're watching the video, by the way, you're just going to see us sitting here listening, yes. but you'll figure that out. We can dance or something. Watching. <laughs> yes. I refuse. I'm well, probably yeah. going to curl up into a smaller and smaller ball mm-hmm. out of embarrassment and then by the end of this be uh, a, a mass so compressed mm. that I'll suck you two in, yeah, which I is bet- almost what you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this is like a game show in Japan. You know, you have to sit and listen to recordings of it. You know, like oh. those weird like torture game shows they have. Mm-hmm. It's just like how long can you stand listening to audio recordings of yourself <laughs> from eight years ago? While getting a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a bit All of fun. Right. It should be a bit of fun. I hope everyone enjoys it. You yeah. cannot, listeners, the tension in the room is so high. I, I, people just skipping through being like, wow, 48 minutes into the app and they're still doing preamble. Yeah. They are really <laughs> not wanting to hit play on those clips. Or if you skim through and like you can see that at 22 minutes, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of the room. This yeah. is a huge chance of being the low light of this week for me <laughs> in which I've had gastro <laughs> and my girlfriend got mugged oh, on public yes. transport. It's been a terrible, <laughs> terrible been, week for you. Yeah. A rough week. Um, Let's so tie a bow on it. The first couple of clips I got are just from the first episode. Okay. All right. Sure. So let's let's. So this listen. one, this yes. first one, is about Disney. September okay. 2015. Yes, is when we're going back to. Your <laughs> it was underwater back then. I say this all the time. Like the reason I still love Nintendo, and it is like they're all like on the surface games for kids, but. They are still challenging and they are still fun. And it's, yeah. it's, it, I kind of think it's the only thing that I can think of pop culture wise that I've been into from when I was super little that is still relevant and still fun mm, and, it hasn't, still... and hasn't let me down at any yeah. point. Like there's yeah, right. never been a point where yeah. – yeah. like if you were into Star Wars as a kid, they had those, those prequels that were kind of shitty. Yeah. Yep. You know, Disney were – Huge when we were all kids, but yeah. they, they, they've not made any attempt to appeal to the people who w- liked them when they were young and yeah. grew up. Mm. They, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, even kids now they don't really make movies for them. So that <sighs> that was an interesting um, prediction for from you, Knox. Mm. Uh, well, Sorry, so I'll do it the way I did in 2015. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, just something, yeah, just a, a nice little softball to, to kick us off where yeah. obviously Disney uh, acquired Marvel and Star Wars and wanted to make only things appealing to people who uh, liked them when they were kids and then grew up. Yeah, and The Force Awakens had already had come out Yes, by the time I'm saying uh, that. I was about to. It was about to. So we knew it was coming out. It came out in December that year. I right. already didn't have my finger on the pulse <laughs> as of time of recording. I think it was that thing where Disney had purchased... Star Wars yes. and we're going to start doing stuff again but I don't think it was immediately clear that there was going to be that like oversaturation like that totally. o- that complete overkill it was just like 
Okay, and it didn't really feel like it was quite under the Disney umbrella yet. It yeah. really felt like the launching of Disney Plus was the point where it was like, oh, all of this stuff is now under this corporate umbrella. It was just like, right. oh, cool, someone cares enough to come along and put the money into just making a couple new movies. Yes. And you know what? By the time that that's happening, maybe it's that there's still a feeling from me and other people of excitement over the idea of like, yeah, go back and revisit yeah. these yeah, things. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, maybe there's been a three year stretch there or something. I can kind of remember feeling this way where it's like, you got all this untapped potential, yeah. Yeah. but you're not tapping. And then they did tap it. And it turned out that tap was one of those rusted pipe taps. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> brown. Oh. Yeah. Cause yeah, there was for force awakens. And I, then I think there was a couple and then ready player one came out and it was like, Oh, this is gross. And they get this into is like, yeah. you know, IP porn, basically. <laughs> the the <Hit> porn. It, <laughs> the IP porn actually is a different category of porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> I prefer you people, and if I'm honest, and I'm lying down. But the 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 Beauty and the Beast, I think, was the uh, first yes. uh, live of action. the live action remakes, and that would have been soon after. Which this. must have been not that long. Yeah, after. Mm. after Got to be around the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's more embarrassing to hear something that you said from eight years ago and yeah. be like, "Well, I don't, I don't stand by that at all," mm. or to hear yourself and be like, "Absolutely, still the way I feel now," because right. that's how I feel about myself talking about <laughs> Nintendo in that clip. I <laughs> guess yeah, nothing nice has changed. Yeah, you did admit they were games for kids. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's weird that people keep like accusing you of. Being and like, oh, Tommy only likes kids' games when episode one, <laughs> yeah. you're like, guess what I am? Yeah. yeah. Whittle baby. Yep. yep. I'm yeah. wearing my heart on my sleeve, folks. <laughs> A statement of intent. All right, let's roll on to the second one. I think second clip. This it... is about Pokemon Go. <laughs> okay. Your friend and mine. <laughs> And yeah, like this is a thing that they've announced in the last week. Is it the yeah. next Pokemon game? And this is part of Nintendo's new uh, sort of ongoing strategy of mobile stuff. Is mm. it's going to be an augmented reality yeah. game that's on the phone, where you walk around in the real world and you hold your camera up and you see a Snorlax on the screen, mm. and you <sighs> yeah, and it's it's yeah, it I sounds know, awkward yeah. and. I sorry, I motioned for you to pause it <laughs> because. I'm like a fucking, <laughs> like a little kid sitting in the corner of the room who's like, pay attention to me. <laughs> Those little performative little. <laughs> you're fidgeting in your seat yeah. and you're like. I'm doing that I'm thing with my, my yeah. hands up and then my other hand is reaching over and holding yeah, that hand. Yeah. Miss. Oh, who's, who's talking in these clips is what I want to know. Um, <laughs> by the way, also, yeah, if you, if you weren't already enticed to watch on YouTube to mm. see the record falling on Ben. <laughs> it's worth it just to look at our faces as we're uh, having to uh, sit and listen to ourselves. I, okay, uh, I, let, yeah. Let's dive back in because okay, this, yep. this is a great one. Okay. Let's make it <laughs> embarrassing it to is, play. My, my, so th these type of games already exist. My yeah. dad works with a guy who like, you have to drive out to these places and then you take a photo of the place and you've won a point. And right. he says that that dude <laughs> is like the weirdest guy he's ever met. <laughs> right, Hope yeah. he doesn't listen to this. Uh, but uh, his name's Hideo Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it, it does just seem embarrassing. Like, I watched mm. that trailer of it, and it's all like these fucking cool people. Like, it's all hot, attractive yeah. people, yeah. like yeah. families. It's like yeah. no one yeah. looks there's like there's a Jesus segment where, where like, yeah. there's a segment where those, like, attractive men come up to the park, and there's some attractive women on the other side. They're like, let's battle. I reckon my Snorlax can take you. Yeah. And they, like, have this battle in the park, and they're all laughing, but what would happen? It's going to be like a fucking chubby dude taking a photo of a food court, yeah. of like a fake Charmander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, or two chubby dudes sitting opposite each other on a park. Like yeah. picnic yeah. table, like, and then yeah. there's like yeah. a seven-year-old. Got to go out to Hopper's Crossing to find myself a Mewtwo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then a seven-year-old's playing it with the fat chubby guy. Yeah, yeah. but the mum doesn't know that they're playing a yeah. mobile game together, yeah. and, and so that, that chubby guy's yeah. going to jail. Yeah, That's what's stop pointing that world. camera. At yeah, Fuck. Jesus Christ! Oh, I didn't and even think about that. This thing of like because this technology exists is like we have to implement it. We have to. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah right. You don't. It's fine to just, like, this thing it's, of, like, I read a thing of, like, what will be cool about it is that it'll get people, Pokemon fans, you know, out into the world yeah. and out into the fresh air. That's the, the last... Oh, sorry. Do I know what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. Where it's we okay. We, I think we get the we idea get the from gist. that, right? We get yeah, the yeah. gist. You're about to say that no Pokemon fans should be outside <laughs> or will be outside. Look at judgmental little 2015. <laughs> everything's going peachy me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, but you Tommy know what? Tommy and I are throwing around a lot of 
listen to these. Look at these fat, chubby guys I know. sitting around park F1. benches. What kind of nerd would be into a video game? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Cut to, like, well, actually. Uh, I, you know what, though? Pokemon Go, I do. It does still doesn't appeal to me. No, but. And there's a Monster Hunter one coming this year. That, right. That I, like, still am. Uh, but it, it, the, the thing of you being like, just because the technology exists doesn't mean we have to <laughs> use know. it. I had that same frustration when we were talking about that Apple headset the other day. Right. right. Where I was like, I want to be in there. Mm. You mm-hmm. were like, nah. Yeah. Books only. Yeah. Wood <laughs> is the only construction material. <laughs> it doesn't have to be made. Yeah. So obviously, uh, I think we yeah we ended the clip by just being like, this is not going to work. No one will like it. Obviously, no one will be into Pokemon it. Pokemon Go. Doesn't make sense. Just and a then... billion dollar game. Yeah. Though. We're those fucking yeah. idiots who like I don't know when the Beatles were shopping themselves around. We're mm. like four guys with scruffy hair. I think not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and almost immediately. Immediately was massive yeah. too. There were yes. the stories about oh, like, it was a phenomenon. Of, yeah. That's huge as the imaginary guy you were being so cruel about. <laughs> <laughs> People having to like beg for their like their house being mm. a spawn spot for I don't know whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like having to beg N- Nintendo and Niantic mm-hmm. to, to, to just like. People keep congregating out the front of my house. Yeah. Can you please? It's like I didn't I've been sign a, up for this. I'm like, I've been in a scandal near the Daily Mirror office. <laughs> yeah. There's people on my fucking lawn. <laughs> you need to get rid of them. My and name's like, Charlie Hebdo with a W at the end. Okay, yeah. stop. <laughs> But I'm yeah, Charlie Manda. I'm nothing to do with the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got two surnames, and they're both sort of things that happened around that time. In- incredibly bad prediction from us in episode one. Episode one, yeah. yeah. Straight out. Of, I mean, the Disney thing is like, how are we to know? Sure, but. <laughs> Pokemon Go, Pokemon's huge. We're putting our credentials on the line. Everyone has a phone. You can play it regardless of having any gaming experience or owning a console. Yeah. (laughs) (sighs) And uh, it it led to, like, people loved it so much. That photo of that guy who's got, like, a cart, a shopping cart or something with all the the rig of, like, the hundred different phones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. With Pokemon Go. Like, people... It's the opposite of what we thought. It yes. fits the, the premise of this episode. Oh, well, yeah. I'm glad it did. <laughs> I hope okay. it's remaining clear for people too when, when, when we are talking today yes. and when they're talking back then. I, I think so. I think our voices yeah. sound different. I think they sound like literally different people. Yeah, <laughs> me too. But maybe it doesn't to anyone else, <laughs> much to my, I think I'm using the word correctly, chagrin. Mm. Mm. Am I? Absolutely. It feels I'm like su- one of those words where... I don't know. Episode eight hundred will sort out whether yeah. I meant I'm that surprised or not. there's not a Pokemon called Chagrin. <laughs> That's a pretty big and a smile? Big, big smile. Yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toothbrush. <laughs> okay, uh, this is from episode two. This oh, <laughs> speed up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did one from every episode. I'll die if we do it like this. <laughs> this actually... is about Breath of the Wild, and yeah. this comes to us from Pip. Oh yes, he yes. Found this one. So Thanks, here we Pip. go. There's all this yeah. talk of the next Zelda that they make being open world. I don't give a oh, shit. Yeah, right. yeah. Jesus. It sucks, man. Just, yeah. That last Zelda was terrible. You've said this on the last episode. Did I? I still <laughs> think it, mate. My opinion hasn't changed in the last week. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's a. this is real deviating, but that's such a bummer that that's now they reckon that's been delayed until the next system. The NX make. thing, yeah. yeah. Well, that was. Uh, it'll be one of those like probably on both of them things. Like, um, oh, like Twilight was, Princess, yeah. which just means that both are half-assed. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that was the okay, reason. Okay, <laughs> little, little wrong, little yeah, right. Yeah. Two, two half asses makes a full ass. Yes. Though, so. You were the exact person that they were thinking about when they developed Breath of the Wild. The person yeah. who, even the doesn't matter what it is, the very concept of a new Zelda game, you're like, I don't care, I'm out. Yeah. Skyward burnt me so bad that I never want to engage with this world again. And I stand by that being a being a bad game at the time, uh, which I think is what my I don't give a shit is in reference to. Not yeah. necessarily to open worlds, but to uh, how dare you have hurt Zelda the way you did. Yeah. Although I, we probably were maybe at a point where open world games would had been Ubisoft. Mm-hmm. That's enough. also true. And, yeah. and Breath of the Wild was a reinvigoration mm. of that, as we've discussed before. Mm. Yep. But... Um, it, yeah, man. I like to think about Anuma in there, like, uh, like Homer. Anuma, Anuma, yay! Anuma, 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 yay! 
like Homer when he's got the little thing, all the pictures of Maggie yes. in his office, and it's like, don't forget, you're doing it for him, and it's just all pictures of Knox. <laughs> yeah, me with my arms folded, going like, Pokemon Go's never gonna take off, and Breath of the Wild will be bad. We do talk about Nintendo stuff a lot in the first couple episodes, though. Dude, yeah. it was all NX for the first mm. X number of months. Yeah, yeah, and Tommy was only owned a Wii U at the time. I did. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, episode twenty-one. All right. Yes. This a, is a time jump. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is multiple disc games and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Right. I think I this believe. is a longer clip, so okay. strap in, everyone. All right, here we go. Capcom announced that they're re-releasing Resident Evil 4, 5, and oh, 6. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 4 is one of my all-time favourite games. It's so amazing. I'll and it, definitely go back in on that. There's mm. versions of that on basically every system that's come out since yeah. then as well, which is crazy. Like As there should be, because it's fucking It's real good. Mm. Five, it's really good. Five, I th- we were talking about this a little bit before, it was yeah. a little disappointing for both of us, I think. Yeah, I... I Got it immediately going, fuck yeah, 4 was my favourite. Um, yeah. I can't wait. And mm. just within 15 minutes, I was like, this is like totally different. Like, I yeah. don't know. It was a lot more like a like uh, like Gears of War or something. Like yeah. It was a lot more straightforward. Right. But like 4 was like this kind of crazy mix of like kind of all the puzzle stuff and then like almost... It almost felt like a like a Zelda game or something yeah, with like this yeah. kind of exploration. The and setting stuff. of it was really great. It was and like, it was so long and like different all the way through, and it was. And I played it on GameCube, and it was over two discs, which yeah. just I don't think we'll ever see the days of a game being spread over. Yeah. Or like yeah. the movies. Remember when you could get movies that were on two VHSs? Oh and it shit! Be really? That giant box. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, what movie was on like, two VHSs? Yeah. I none that I ever watched, but I just remember seeing <laughs> at the video store like yeah, right. just. Yeah, some really long movie. Like Home Improvement was on like <laughs> 90. <laughs> 90? Yeah. Wow. 90 VHSs. Oh. Six, well, one episode of, of Home Improvement across 90 VHSs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of things on multiple discs, I've been replaying Final Fantasy VII. Ah. Um, so I've been playing on Steam, so there's not actually discs, but it's still separated like into part one, part two, and part three. Yep. And it's, a, I've forgotten, it's a big game. Like it is a massive game. It was a three disker on. PlayStation One. Yep. Um, and it's the feeling when you <laughs> right. the feeling when you moved over into the next disc. Oh, you're just like yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later, dickhead. Just <laughs> throwing the first one out of the window. <laughs> Fuck off. But it's funny because it, this it's, is big school now. <laughs> it's already like by, in the first disc. It's a full world. Like it's a literally like a world map. Like yeah, like you can only go certain places and certain. Yeah. You like have a buggy at the start, and you, later you get like a broken plane that goes on the water, not in the air, and then. A, uh, airship, but it's a yeah. It's like they they built a genuinely big world, and fuck the story is good. Yeah, like it just holds up really well. It's I remember so you weird. telling me about it. Yeah, you were telling me about it in, when we were in Japan. Yeah, um, yeah, and yeah, I've been really wanting to go in, but I yeah. I don't know. Should I wait for? I would I'd, wait. If I'd be you interested can. to see just like what someone who came cold to the new one thought because well. man because the graphics like, are bad now yeah. well yeah. I, I like the kind of blocky I like those characters looking kind of blocky and if cartoony. you like that that's f- good because there is still like a lot of matte painting backgrounds that look yeah. great um, so if you can get past the blocky kind of I went and watched yeah. the trailer for the new <laughs> well, one I, I don't love the, art, the yeah. updated yeah. kind of yeah. style because they know. released like a shitty 3D animated movie mm-hmm that was just yeah. bad. Advent Children. Yes. It was called. Yes. I watched that. Um, oh, re- like what? When? It's like uh, a spin-off. Oh, like oh. ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. like a long time. Because it was that big Final Fantasy movie. Yeah, it was. So it was after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't the one. No, this was literally. Machine, it was so. like it was called Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, and it right. was like it was a, a sequel. Yeah, basically to the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but it cool. was. But it was so different. Like the tone. Yeah, because yeah. Because of like it's weird. Like the the sort of fandom around that game has influenced the way that the people making those games now seem to perceive how it is. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, like but the that's true of anything that's been around long enough. A little bit, but like, <laughs> yeah. it, but it, because the actual like people at the helm of whatever whoever's doing it now are mm. different people now. It's mm. sort of like The Simpsons, yeah. where yeah. The Simpsons is people who watch The who Simpsons writing New Simpsons yeah. episodes. Yeah, it's bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's gotten a lot more morose. Like, the original mm. game is, like, funny and shit. Yeah, like, totally. Yeah. It's weird and kind of quirky. Also, the storyline is a very transparent, like, um, uh, green, you know, environmentalist, environmentalist kind, of. kind right. of save the planet thing. Right. Which is cool and was probably a nah, good thing to play as a kid. Like, is, nah, fuck that a, shit. No, nah, <laughs> calm down, mate. <laughs> is Trump there a 2016. New, uh, 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was going to make a joke earlier about how we we did that episode where the election in America was happening yeah. in 2016, and we like jokingly was like, "Imagine if Trump won," I know, fuck. and then took it out because it seemed in bad taste. Yeah, as did that. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, three three things. Yes. Yeah. Titanic. That was on multiple VHSs. Oh, oh okay. I've learned yep. since back then. I've learned a few mm-hmm. things. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Uh, I laughed again at the term three disca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. It's though. gotten me twice over a couple of decades. You almost. still, yeah. It's like, oh, we still have the same dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one, we haven't changed that much. And the third thing, I don't remember what it was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not being sure about the, the Final Fantasy remake, which will come up again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, okay. Uh, it, but the direction that it went in uh, was was surprising for exactly the things we were like, oh, we'll remake all the, uh, sure. the children. Uh, and I think, yeah, the Simpsons thing of, of like the people remaking this game are people who were influenced by the original game, mm. which played into massively right. what they did with the narrative of the remake, right? It's hugely like self-referential. Mm. Totally. And in, in a more interesting way with that than, than the Simpsons where it's like yeah. become a parody of itself by mistake. But Final Fantasy VII was a deliberate one, mm, mm. which was is cool as a deconstruction. Oh, I hope they put Mo into <laughs> Rebirth and they have yeah. him go through a little... Uh, you, uh, you fucked up my bar, Cloud, <laughs> you, by bringing all these ghosts in here. I'm also Marge. <laughs> okay, here's another clip, episode 30. Yep. Uh, this is a very excitingly titled one, NX Predictions. Uh-huh. And this comes to us from Adam W., uh, it Adam. is. I, I'm always winning. <laughs> it's your brother, Adam W. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stuff. try and remember to do this. Let's go round the horn now. Let's each give a big prediction about when they do do a big announce, what's going to be in it. When it happens, we'll, we'll come back on this episode yeah. and we'll play <laughs> these clips and we can see how they match up. All Let's right. time um, capsule this. My, yeah. Mine is like really cheap VR slash augmented reality. Okay. And it's called the Virtual Boy 2. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I reckon I reckon it's like mobile phone integration so you have really high quality games on a phone yep. playing on the console through the internet. Yeah. Right. Any ideas, Mace? I know this isn't super in your wheelhouse, <laughs> but just on what you've heard us uh just a big dildo attached. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I reckon some sort of online... I reckon it'll be kind of controversial. I'm going to say it's going to be some sort of online gambling thing, like a real money gambling thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like I genuinely think they're, they're going back the other way. Japan kind right. of is yeah. like some Japanese companies, especially video game ones, are kind of going in there. That's yeah. not as crazy of an yeah. idea. Yeah. I reckon yeah. it'll be, yeah, you can... I reckon integrate it with like a casino or something like yeah. that. Yeah, like, <laughs> integrate it with a casino. <laughs> well, that, like the other day, so I'm like, like a yeah. ca- so every city in the world yes. has to be in cahoots with, with Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. thing to yeah. work. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I think I just thought of this. Then I think this whole I think it'll be similar to the Wii U and the gamepad. Mm. I think it'll be smaller, and I think that the gamepad will be able to work outside of being connected to the system. Right. So I think it'll be basically system and portable all in one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I'm because... Listening. I do think that's kind of... Yeah, that's the main It'll be, be able is to that, like download yeah. little eShop games on it and like take... Yeah. The control will be pocket-sized. Yeah. And right. you'll be able to... So it won't be... It won't use you... I don't think they're going to go for mobile phone. I just don't see them doing it. I think that's... Yeah. I just don't I see them doing it. I think yours is maybe the most likely. Yeah. Like, I think they're crazy to try and put something else in a person's pocket is the only thing. I know, yeah. I know, sure. But I, I also... I think... Because also 3DS is selling more, but they haven't put... They haven't announced... There's no... It kind of seems like it's winding down in terms yeah. of like mm-hmm. ga- there's no new announcements of games. So I think it's going to be, hey, you know what? We have big success with handheld stuff at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We're just going to combine them into one thing. You buy the console. It's got the control. It's got both. You can take it with you. Yeah. You can bring pl- cross-platform games because you've also got to think about if this new Zelda is going to be compatible with both, it needs to be – it needs to still be able to use – it needs to still work on the Wii U. Yep. But yeah. it also needs to include a bit of – Functionality in the way that Twilight Princess yeah, still worked, but it was yeah. just like you could aim with the Wii remote. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I think it'll be you'll be able to take bits of it with you. It's still going to be that second screen thing, so that it'll work yep. on the Wii U, but you'll just have a bit more of an experience with it. Uh, with maybe, um, yeah.
<laughs> Get a load of Nostradamus over here. Well, <laughs> well, suck me off with a feather. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously that one... Tommy nailed it, 100% correct. A lot of the clips people sent in were not things we got wrong. Nice. They were just right. like funny bits. Some <laughs> some of them were like, yeah, you got it correct. I people guess, who like, were fans who were like, why are you doing this to yourselves, yeah. boys? Don't be so negative. <laughs> totally. You get it right heaps of the time. Me, yeah. uh, me doing my Nick Mason impression in the middle of that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can reveal now he was never in the room. Yeah. <laughs> it was he doesn't bit. exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not a real guy. Yeah. He's open source. <laughs> <laughs> Just whoever wants him on the show can have him. Yeah. But it's it's funny. I was thinking, listening to that, that at the time that all the NX speculation was starting, Nintendo really were in the ropes. It was like... I remember yes. us talking a lot about how it was kind of conceivable that, like, if they had another flop of a console, they could go the Sega route and just be a publisher, like, not be making hardware anymore. How yeah. It really seemed like, pardon? That would have been sick. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. It really did seem like that was on the cards, like, mm, that, yes. that, w- that could have been a possibility. So, going, so yeah, g- saying, oh, they'll just, they'll make stuff for mobile, like, doesn't say, I mean, mm. they did end up making stuff for mobile too, but, like, yeah. I think I was thinking of it in the way of like how remote play and stuff yeah. like that is yeah. now. Yeah. I suppose. Which, which Xbox did. Zoom, I looked into the future as well. <laughs> but yeah. oh, I also predicted Nintendo Labo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, cheap AR VR thing. Yeah. So, but like, I guess, yeah, Nox and I were wrong on what the Switch would be, but. You know, we weren't crazy. Yeah, it sounds like there were rumours about that being the thing yeah, too because we we're all yeah. like, yeah, that's the w- what we, the whispers are about. I think mm. we'd seen that, yeah, maybe that patent, which again, we we probably didn't know if it was real or not. Or there whatever. was a fair bit of stuff wobbling yes. around at that time, I remember. Yep. And then, yeah, Meso predicted like the microtransaction era, basically. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that would have been around Battlefront 2 and shit. So that was mm. like really kicking into gear in a way that... You know they sort of pulled back from, but now have been able to yeah. recapture. And every micro, uh, every mobile game, sorry, is is an online casino basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now we've got one that is a Last of Us Two prediction. Okay. All right. And this comes to us from our friend Tolkien Tate. What episode? Fifty nine. Nice. Here we go. I am worried about this one honestly because mm. from the trailer, the thing. Guess what? My predictions are always wrong. But mm. here's another hot prediction, and I hope it's wrong. That from that trailer, it looks like Joel's going to be a ghost. And people have been speculating that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not people, just me. I'm special. And yeah. uh, and Ben, he's not a person. <laughs> <laughs> what is your pro- preferred pronoun, Knox? Uh, I don't know. Great. <laughs> 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 so um, I, I'm really worried about about. I think that's a lame trope. To the extent where we put a lot of effort into making fun of it in a show that we did, you know, like yes, the, the so there's two things about that. You remember in the first one how a lot of people complained about. I didn't ever really get bothered by it, but about how like Ellie uh, would always her AI made it really weird, so she would always like run in front of enemies, but they wouldn't notice her. Yep, you know that sort of thing, mm-hmm. and that was always really jarring. It makes sense that if you're like AI buddy was a ghost. That could happen and it wouldn't bother anybody. Sure. And I, it would be really funny if they did that because I'm sure it would be a work backwards from that of like, if mm-hmm. we just made the character a ghost, nobody's <laughs> ever going to care. Yeah. Yeah, but you'd have to think like maybe that problem is gone because that, I mean, that was a PS3 game. Maybe. And then mm-hmm. they're developing this for yeah. the PS4. But what, like, so why do you have that much of a problem with it? I mean, you're saying the the trope of people being a ghost. I presume you're saying that as a twist. Uh, yes. In the even, end, but, but even... you make it sound like you would know from the start of this game, like, hey, your AI guy is a ghost. Yeah, and even if that were the case, I think that would still be a bit lame because it means that the conflict that's taking place is within a character's head, which to me is less interesting than interpersonal relationships, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, okay, but... I I don't know. I mean, I I don't from a from a creative standpoint and in trying to make that into a game. Yeah. What is to be gained by having a character run around the screen that's a ghost if you know that it can't be killed or whatever? Uh, well, nothing in terms of like a gameplay thing, but it would basically be that because it looks like it's going to be a revenge story about Ellie trying to take revenge on someone mm-hmm. for in something, and that <laughs> thing is probably going to be Joel's. Death. Okay, you know what? Who right. cares? Let's just spoil the ending of number one. <laughs> 
Is that where I cut is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Um, I just was making fun of a bad idea that I had. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. What if Joel was a ghost? What if Joel was I a love ghost? Tommy's sincere rebuttal of like, yeah. okay, but like creatively, <laughs> what would be the benefit of Joel being a ghost? Well, because it was that that trailer was showing Joel is dead. Right, he right. is not there in that. So like it, it I do <laughs> remember so yeah, I do remember that. It first makes sense where the look. pieces are coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> come on. You were right about a lot of that though. <laughs> yeah, that was that was weird that on the off the back of it. Yeah, it was like, oh yeah, yeah, but uh, maybe like yes. Taking out so- away the fact that the the impetus was like, well, the AI uh, companion in the first game was kind of weird. So what if they build that into the narrative? Yeah. I don't mind that. He's just transparent. <laughs> He's just like yeah. He's caspering around. Oh, yes. That was what I was thinking for some reason. <laughs> but in terms of that trailer, I knew what it was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least. So <laughs> I got it right again. I kind of forgot that they were alluding to that in... That right in so early and on in that the, trailer that must have been the very it. first little thing, right? Mm. And it's a scene that's not in the game. Yeah, that that would, if it were, maybe make more sense with what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> come on, so one of these clips I've got to be wrong soon. <laughs> I, I just love that you call out at the very start. Like I'm making a prediction, and my predictions are always wrong. By episode what fifty something, yeah, I'm already yeah, yeah. like, oh well, I can see the writings on the wall, but I don't know what I'm fucking <laughs> talking about. But let's okay. go all in on the dumbest idea anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this comes to us from Aiden, and I believe that this is just a funny moment that he likes. I think this is, is the correct? only the only one that's literally just a funny. Moment. Okay, <laughs> here we go. This map, you do no, have a I big don't. map on your wall. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you've crossed out every country other than Germany. What's that about? <laughs> no, it, um, it came like that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's still a map. You can still see the country. <laughs> What's with that little spike on your hat that you're wearing right now? <laughs> that's that's my, like a dick that grows out of my head. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, What's yeah. that wall you're building? <laughs> and Okay. More. Yeah. <laughs> Ich bin, I'm 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 ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> ich bin. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of human civilization has been building to this moment. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nox, that is very good. <laughs> It sounded like the song you see. <laughs> Shout out to Aiden. Yeah. Just a little behind the scenes. <laughs> it sounded a bit similar to that song. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. all the people just wanting to send us stuff that we got right. Shout out to Aiden. Just like, nah, here's a funny moment. <laughs> I, I heard know. the brief and I don't care. Yeah. Why I want to relive this bit of comedy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. It feels like it needed a tiny bit more context just before <laughs> that of why we were no, saying I think, that. <laughs> I even think the context was like a bit off. <laughs> I just had a map on my wall and we referenced it. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but if you want to... Here, uh, a remix of the uh, Bare Naked Ladies song One Week with Adam saying Ich Bin that. every time. It's on YouTube. Just look for Filthy Casuals Ich Bin, I believe. Sure. Yeah, someone lined it up mm. kind like of perfectly. When you, like, when, uh, like when you throw away too much uh, rotten fruit. An Ich Bin. Yeah. I'm two for two yes. for amazing <laughs> Ich Bin. Jump back on the on the, uh, on the on Adobe Audition, whoever did that first yep. remix. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for doing um, that. Okay, here is episode 97, a Final Fantasy VII prediction. Uh, 97 yes. is when Final Fantasy VII came out. Oh, oh my God. Fucking hell. Not too, not a seven. Maybe we say that in the clip. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from MG. Here we go. I, I don't like the situation where, like, with that Final Fantasy VII remake, for example, yeah. you announce it in, like, what, 2014? Yeah. And then fuck off for that ages? That game's yeah. never coming out. I really massively doubt that it's ever coming out as well. Yeah. Don't, don't say that, guys. Don't. <laughs> or, and if it does come out, I don't think it will be of a particularly high quality. I, I do. I think it'll be similar to Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, but that whole thing of them splitting it into parts... Uh, we've talked about this before. Like, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, maybe. But uh, if one of them is the only one that ever comes out and, like... It, there's no way that a property that big will s- stumble and fall at the first hurdle. Yeah, that's I am a so huge excited game. to play that back to you <laughs> in 19 years when that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I was right. I've had a rough 19 years. I shouldn't sound like that. <laughs> I was so wrong. 
<laughs> about that particular one. <laughs> yeah, I think there's another one of F of Final Fantasy oh, yeah. VII. It's probably the biggest one where we disagreed about it, and right. people have remembered. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, do we want to? You were go right. Into- it was a three disca. <laughs> yeah. And do we want to go into this second? Final Fantasy VII predictions. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the, the so last this is, one. On so it. that last one was episode 97. Mm. This one is episode 171. Holy shit. And we're, so still, and we're still predicting what's that? the game. F- fucking 74? Couple, couple of, 74 episodes? Yeah, a couple of years. A year and a half? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, here we go. I think the Final Fantasy VII one is the one for me where I'm like, oh, cool, down to at the start and yep. I've come down to that game will never exist and I hope it doesn't because I think it's bad probably. Yeah, for right. the way they've been talking about it as it goes to being like just seeming not to know what to do. Yeah. But what, yeah. What, having uh, such yeah. swings back is that and it? forth. What's the Final difference? Final Fantasy what? fucking 15 having, announcing <clears throat> three more DLCs that'll never come out because they didn't plan them well enough yeah. after that game was in development mm. for 10 years. And it makes you go, well, I don't... Do you want to pause? Yeah. I don't, they, they, one of them did and the others were written into a book. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was spot on. And it was. you're right. It was like, oh, this doesn't seem like it's going to be good. I don't really remember way, now yeah. the, like, the... the, the um, what it was like back then. There was almost no coverage of it or yeah. any word about it, except occasionally I think there would be like, um, we've replaced the entire development team. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. restarted it yeah. at one point, it's which I think was the point where we were like, oh, this is, yeah, this seems like they're having a tough time with this one. They'd have been on a rough trot for a while. Yeah. yeah. Point the, two square. W- was it episode two where we talk about you having watched... No, it was episode one, I think, where you'd watched the trailer and didn't like the graphics. Right. Anymore. So, yeah. again, that's like... <laughs> for the year and a half. Hundreds of years <laughs> or of episodes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting around going like, boo, to this game that I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll be wrong about. Should we keep going with All the right. clip? Yeah, yeah, if we have to. Don't trust that whole company. But then Final, Fan- Final Fantasy fifteen was a good game. It was, and I think... And we said this at the time, massively in spite of itself, yeah, was a good yeah. game. And Nintendo, I kind of trust with their back and forth thing. Like Breath of the Wild took years longer than it was meant to, but then came out and it was like, oh, I see where that time went. Yeah. yeah. I think maybe if we had seen gameplay and stuff at this point, people would maybe be more... If we'd seen gameplay and it looked shit... Yeah, right. And like universally pretty... Which, pretty is, which is dumb though, because it, what they've said is like... <laughs> And you're right. I think you're right. If we had seen bad gameplay footage, people would have been like, oh, that was bad. And the the, the second go is going to be bad too, mm. which makes no sense because that's what is happening. We just didn't but, see the footage. But then the flip side of it is that people also would be going, oh, this sucks that they've just caved to what some people said on the internet. Right. Yeah. And they're going back and starting it just because of a bit of negative press. Fuck that. It looks fine. Just fix it and get it out. But I yeah. do think the confidence that it shows about your work if you put out footage of it mm. suggests that you're like, oh, this is good. And then if it looks bad, you're like, well, you don't know what is good then. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you show footage of something and it looks like, oh boy, this doesn't look like it's going to be good. Like Days Gone is for me, right. personally. Yep. I'm like, well, I don't, I know it's early, I know it's whatever, mm. but I don't trust where that's going. Right. Because the highlight reel you've shown me, I would consider to be more of a low dark fake <laughs> wow. than a highlight reel. Oh. Thank you very much, <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> She was still alive back yeah, then. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm watching the little waveform of this on my phone and just like praying for it to get to the end where I start to see like we're coming up on the end. <laughs> <of> the <clip. laughs> Do you know, I surprised myself by having three different opposite words then mm. rather yes. than just a low light reel. I was so sure I yeah, was going to yeah, say yeah. low light reel. That's why it got me at the time. <laughs> uh, those brain cells that I had back in my brain back then, some of them worked. I mean, that game is still relatively recent. And, yeah, the fact mm. that yeah, we were talking about it from the beginning of the pod. Yes. And yeah. yeah, we now didn't start really seeing anything of it until quite late. Mm-hmm. It, it probably had a hard time, Yeah, honestly. So, like, it makes sense. We were like, what's going on? Because it was, like, 2006 that they showed that mm-hmm. PS3 sort of demo thing. And when you're thinking it is just a remake of Final Fantasy VII as yes. well, I guess that yes, changes yes. the context yeah. from now. At, like, now Rebirth is one of the ones I'm looking forward to the most out mm. of a packed uh, 
next span of time. It's, it, when developers go, <laughs> future. oh, we've had <laughs> future. <laughs> when developers go, oh, we've had to completely reboot the production of this. Right. It kind of does always make me think this game's in trouble. It's going to be really bad. But the point is, no, it was, and mm. they're starting it again right. so that it won't be. But like mentally in my head, like I still have a bit of a thing where I think. Uh, Metroid Prime 4 is going to be a bit fucked because they've had to, yeah. you know, but it's like, well, no, the fact that they're doing that means mm. that they're combating that. And I think I, I think of it like cooking or something wrongly where it's like, well, if you fucked it up once, what's cooking it a second time going to do because you can't make it? Mm. Right. But yep. it's not cooking. It's a different thing. No. You can't use the stuff that you've already put together, like trying to put your good ideas into this yeah. Uh, engine or whatever that just is not working for you. I don't Even know. It costs a lot. You got to just start from scratch. I, tr- I made tried to make a baked cheesecake like two months ago. Okay. Failed. Exact same ingredients. Second time, nailed it. But you released it in three parts. Little disappointing. Mm, that's uh-huh. true. <laughs> that's true. But yeah, also yeah, the point you made of like, no, they know it's shit because they haven't released any footage of it. If they thought it was any good, they would have released footage, and then people would have been like, no, you guys. This is shit. You don't know what you're doing. Right. So clearly they identified within themselves like, oh, we know it's bad. We know we have to redo it. Yeah. So yeah. That's something. But I yeah. guess so. I'm only hearing every fourth word that I'm saying <laughs> because like my brain is like <laughs> defensively. Like in a movie when like a bomb's gone off next yes. to someone and they've just got that ringing in their ears. If you ever want to like, it, like you know how spies will like set off a flashbang. Yep. Not a sp- particularly stealthy spy thing, but mm. a flashbang to do- explode the senses and they don't know where you're coming from. Yep. Play my own voice at me <laughs> and I will have no idea where you are in the room and I'll shut down and collapse on the floor and you can yep. start writing your rants. Note. Okay, well, uh, this one promises to be entertaining. This is from episode 179, and the clip is titled "Tommy Says No PS5." <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say there will never be a PlayStation Five. <laughs> yep, I'm calling it, boys. I mean, I'm if calling they it, come boys. Come out and say this is the PlayStation. From now on, it's Ooh, always. Like, you might okay, be right. okay, yeah, you could be um, right. If if the, if I am, you both have to travel back in time and fuck me in the ass. Okay, what do you think about that? I All don't right. think time travel. Is real, but I accept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what else do I think they'll announce? Last of Us Two cancelled. Oh, just, okay. we're just not bringing it out. Okay. Can't be fucked. It's off. It's okay. off the agenda. Um, uh, it looked a little too realistic, and we actually were freaked out by it. So we're getting rid of it. <laughs> it was kind of grossing us out. Yeah. I, I think that they're going to announce the PlayStation time travel machine, <laughs> okay. and uh. this what we're doing now is an ironic bit. Yeah. We know what's happened. We were pay- we're, we're the test subjects. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is like when we did the 2002 game of the year. We know that this is a joke. Yeah, we're recording this in 2100. <laughs> yes. And 4. Wow. Cuz we live we can live forever now. Mm. That's yeah, that's yeah. part of, of the, the thing. The Xbox life extender that happened. I don't think any of this this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I threw that and 4 at the end to make it a little bit more realistic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there'll never be a PS5. Very sad. <laughs> These guys in at Sony, they don't know what they're doing. They're uh. giving up. The four's the last one. Xbox did kind of do that. I mean, they've called it the Series X and the Series S, but they're clearly rebranding as Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, am yeah. I? <laughs> what am I saying there? I don't know but why it won't you're be saying called that. the five, or that they're just straight up never going to make another console. Yeah, Maybe we were just know. talking about the name, I suppose. I think so. Yeah. And the five is too high of a number for, yeah. for it to seem realistic. Oh, the so the context was we were we were recording. Like two days before a the very first ever state of play. Ah, oh, oh. sure. Okay. And we knew that the episode was going up after that had aired. Yeah. Right. Okay, so right. we were preemptively trying to yeah. I do think Queensland won the last state of play, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> jump in that time machine. Get back here <laughs> now. Fuck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> the strangest that. thing to say. Yeah. I stand by that as a bit. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I do, I do truly think at some point, though, we won't get iterative consoles because everything will have moved on to cloud gaming. Probably, yeah. Like, I think the need to actually keep re-upping the hardware that's in your house will mm-hmm. probably cease to exist. It seems possible. Uh, and on that day, <laughs> I'll be lubing up my ass, boys. <laughs> Internet infrastructure is, like, I suppose, the, the, the preventative. The barrier, yeah. Uh, yeah, barrier. Oh, well, we had the, the stadia and it failed. Uh, remember yeah. that So again yeah. Uh, yeah Maybe it'll come Move into the clip around. about us Saying the stadia Will be <laughs> the best thing In the world We probably Got that dead right honestly. I think that's We were pretty sceptical The whole time The only dead on thing 
Apart ever from the, in the podcast. your Switch uh, prediction, mm. where everything about it was correct. <laughs> the pocket size controllers, they really right. did do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sitting here still thinking about it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, okay, oh. this one is from also from that same episode, 179. Big day. This is called Quitting Games. This is time for me to announce I'm quitting video games. Oh, my God. Um, I when, foresee you quitting everything but video games, uh, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, that is much more likely. <laughs> and and uh, that's my dream as well. Oh, my God. A correct prediction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. That was weird. I just, because obviously, yeah, I was listening to that episode. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> this, we got a lot of stuff <laughs> dead on here. Ben, ben got it right. Ah, I, I, well, I wonder why I was saying that. Well, okay, because I, I think you know. there was just a lot of games were coming out, <laughs> and you were overwhelmed. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's oh, God, extreme it's response. Too many it, video you know, games. That is what I do. I swing way too hard <laughs> in one or the other direction. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Imagine like watching a Nintendo Direct and every new thing that's announced. You're like, ah. <laughs> what do you I mean? can't take it <laughs> Wonderful Or wonder or whatever it is yeah. Too much um, Okay so we've got three to go oh, A couple of these God. are pretty long yes. um, This one is from Migsy Yep Thanks, Migsy. Uh, and this is you've contributed. You've pulled one of the cranks yeah. on mm. the uh, whatever you the call that machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is episode two hundred and twenty-two, and this is called Cyberpunk Delay. Oh. Um, so we've got a we've got a bit of news up the top yeah. that we've got to talk about. First of all, we need to uh, we need to check in, Adam. You and I need to check in on our friend Ben. Oh and yeah, his, and his well-being. <laughs> I always get nervous when I hear there's news about Ben. <laughs> Based, no, well, no, there's news that directly relates to one of Ben's big interests. Oh, yeah. it's going to be a while before he gets to jack into the computer simulation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Too, yeah. significant delay yep. to Cyberpunk 2077, which we were just talking about uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, we were in saying our 2020 oh, preview. Final Fantasy VII's delay, but at least Cyberpunk isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, Dad. It's <laughs> it's been delayed what six months? September. Big uh, chunky out? delay. September now. Yeah. Five months. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, it's so disappointing. I understand, like, it's going to be better for it. Yeah. Uh, because they're forcing their employees to work 24 hours a day <laughs> yeah. up until the ultimate, yeah. the ultimate version of um, whatever that fucking charity was called that I've already forgotten the name <laughs> yeah. of. Yeah, Extra Life. Extra Life. The yeah. ultimate version of it. No life. We're doing a five month long stream of us finishing up <laughs> Cyberpunk. Yeah. Yeah, so what's going on there? So they announced the delay and then like a day or two later, there mm. was a follow on story of like, oh, and they're all crunching well, as well. Because yeah. I think a lot of people were saying, apropos of nothing, like there was no indication of this, but they were like, hey, take longer to get it done. Mm. If that means that the people working on it get to have a better work-life balance, then right. I'm all for it. And then I don't know if it was because of that, but CD Projekt came out or someone from there and was like, nah. We're all going to work way harder than ever, and that's how we run our business. And if you don't like it, fuck off. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, which uh, is like obviously bad because of worker laws and things like mm -hmm. that. And like that's not how our society is meant to function anymore. Yes, but at the same time, and we've had this conversation before, is people who have all put stupid hours into creative projects. I get it. Yes, and if everyone there is on that same page, I get that that sense of fire in your stomach to get something like that done i can speak to this from both sides of the fence yeah. in terms of like i've been part of things where i'm I would one call of that the on the fence <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at both sides of the fence maybe you're up on top of that fence no but i have a, i have a distinct opinion yeah, i'm not sure. sitting on the fence well i'm waiting to see you're on the fence right now but you're going to tumble one way or the other yeah no, i think yeah, you yeah, were yeah. on the fence for a bit and you were looking at both you're now firmly set up on one side but of the i fence. want i want to hear what it was like when you were up there <laughs> looking at what's both. on your left describe on your I left i can see into both backyards yeah right. yeah Clowns describe to the both left, back jokers yeah. to the right <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what's in those backyards and then describe your fall. So, and I think so. <laughs> the perspective that we have talked about is the one where we are in charge of a creative project. Yeah. Like we're driving it. We, uh, everything right. that is at stake is at stake for us. We don't have subordinates. We don't have subordinates. We win or lose based on how much effort we put in personally. Yes. yes. And we've all done that and we've put in a lot of effort to things and sometimes it's paid off. Usually it has, I think. Well, because typically, yeah, the example that we're all, the three of us are most familiar with is 
stand-up comedy, specifically doing a comedy show in the comedy festival. Yeah. yeah. Is that fair to say? Where you have a date locked in, you have a deadline when the show is on, people buy tickets. But mm-hmm. in terms of like the work that you put in, I guess it's kind of different for you guys because you've done stuff in a group. Well, it's but almost it's really more, like self-regulated yeah. in the, terms the of like... The group is the thing I compare it to more because yeah. the stand-up yeah. shows I've done have been me and have gone or have not gone based on me. Mm. But those ones don't pan out sometimes because of reasons extraneous to the amount of work you put in. Because you've only got yourself, your own perspective. Right. Yeah, it like it, it. It sometimes it's not about an hour count, which is a mistake. I have one hundred percent made. <laughs> but as a group, you, yeah. we all have kind of pushed each other pretty hard. Yes, and held each other accountable to keep doing it. But none of us are, like you said, subordinate to any other in the group. No, that's true. But yes, but that's there's a perspective there other where it's Tim. like. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. Tim, if you're listening to he, he does listen. Yeah. He's a fan. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I think I just included that for the joke about Tim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it our podcast where we used to say, Got Tim? <laughs> yeah, 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 I think so, yeah. Uh, remember that like six month period where people really cared about crunch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like every, every like three weeks, there'd be some new story that was like, Leaking out of a studio. Oh, they've been making their developers crunch, and then yeah. I don't know what it was. Just like I, I think COVID happened. Yeah, like COVID long after and that, so people stopped talking about crunch because right. people weren't stuck in the office for a hundred hours. Yes, right. they were stuck in it for how many hours in a week? One hundred twenty-seven, or is that just the movie? That's just the Rock. That's yeah, the movie, okay. yeah. <laughs> just the Rock's week. <laughs> yeah. That's how he gets so much done. That's right. He gets up. He he pains and gains. Oh, but yes, um, Cyberpunk. Fuck yeah. Just being like, hey, at least you know that gives him time to yeah. get it right. Really, God, you fuck. gotta wonder if that. <laughs> At that delay, what would the fucking game? It would have been, been like? fucking wireframes. Like yeah. it would not have been ready. Yeah. The fact that it got delisted from the PS4 yeah. and the Xbox One after that delay and after them knowing, and it's it's funny mm. that yeah, our perspective on that was like, well, they've got time to make it right and mm. everything, and then it came out as such a. I guess it yeah, it, that was a that was a weird time. Yeah, yeah. but. Now, three years after release, yeah. seems like they're finally polishing it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, here we go. This Whew. is episode 229. Uh, That's got to be more recent. What are we up to now? Yeah, this Add is 100 like... to that? Something like that? No, wait, 400. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought you meant when in history was 229. <laughs> no. This episode's 400, yes. <laughs> oh, wait, it's... that wasn't a bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was like 380 In my head I was like <laughs> Oh yes how droll <laughs> <laughs> nah. This is episode 400 happening in June of 2023 Good lord <laughs> Just to time stamp it for everyone okay. So Whoa. this might be Because the last clip here after this one yes. Doesn't have an episode number attached to it Ah uh, yes uh, that is from a band camp that's a, from a band camp. Okay, yeah. so that's like kind of a bonus. So this is our, this is kind of our last like chronological. Let's one, maybe I we guess. should do the Zelda one. Okay, that that do the band camp one and then right. do the uh, the last chronological one. So okay. this comes to us from Keishan. Yes, this is a, a clip about Zelda from a band camp episode. What? Where do you think they go from here? Like, what do you think yeah. they can do next in the series? Because yeah. once you've busted it open to this extent, yep. What do you do back? Like, do they? Do they? Do they do another? Because you know what's interesting, if you want to just go by history, well, the last time they launched with a Zelda was the Wii. Yeah. And so that meant that at the very end of the life cycle of the Wii, we got uh, Skyward Sword. Yeah. yeah. So we could very, you know... we. I mean, we it's could been sort of a five-year thing for the main ones yeah. right. lately. But we could very, given that this is coming out early enough in the, in the system's cycle, we could very easily see... Another Zelda on this console. I would hope so. What, yeah. what do you think? I mean, it's it's. I guess it's harder for you to say, Ben, because you're not. You know, this is your kind of entrant into the series. Yeah. But, uh, what based on what we've talked about here, what do you think would make sense? And Knox, what would you like to see them do? I think that once you go open world, proper open world, it's hard to change. It's hard to go back from that. Yeah. You're not really. It's. I don't think it's a likely thing that they'll step back and have like more of a pure overworld slash dungeon setup. It's yeah. It seems like once you have open world and something as massive as this, uh, like I, why would you, where would you yeah why would you go back from that yeah, yeah. and I that's I I really want to see them do a Majora type thing where they take this great foundation and do something really weird with it totally yeah, do something pretty, really yeah. really yeah. strange that would be interesting and yeah. like because it's a game that 
a huge part of what I think is good about it is the first time you play it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm interested to know what going back to Breath of the Wild in five years or whatever would yeah, be totally. like. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'd be really interested to see them do something like open world, but with that Skyward uh, world where you've yeah, got the Sky maybe. World. Maybe that's yeah. maybe that's the only place you can go from open world to open world. Or do one like, yeah, to the past, the like, here's the Dark World. Or, like, yeah. sure, I would yeah. much rather see a, a major thing of just, like, let's think of some fucking outlandish... Totally, a, yeah. a narrative twist rather than, like, a gameplay twist. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, or the, the three-day thing was really cool. Like, something yeah. like that, maybe, yeah. where, like... <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm just talking about Majora's Mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Over there, Tommy is, again, predicting everything yeah. that's going to happen. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, well, what if <laughs> they just made Majora's Mask what again? What if they made a game that I liked again? <laughs> they should get me on staff to yeah. help them along with ideas that they've already come up with. Well, <laughs> no, it's, to yes. me. You're like yes. the one, you know, when the planes would come back and they'd have bullet holes in them and then they'd replace those parts and strengthen right. those parts. Mm. But actually, they needed to strengthen the parts that didn't have bullet holes because those were the planes that were going down. Right. You're yes. the Last person they need on staff. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Because they've had all your ideas. Exactly. Yeah. They need me there Damn. to say, do you remember you made Majora's Mask? Yeah. Do it again, boy. Remember again. that three-day cycle? <laughs> <laughs> remember how you keep trying to move the conversation to something else and I keep bringing it back to like, yeah, what if they have masks as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, I think um, we're There's finding the world where the world where we listen to that clip, the alternate reality, and I'm completely wrong, and you guys mm. are clowning me like, oh yeah, in the sky. But fuck, Knox, you were like Breath of the Wild, but yeah. you're just wearing a mask. Like, how did you know? But everyone's like, only got three days. Yeah, the top world and the dark world was a was yeah. an inverse of the world, but there is literally a dark, dark world. Dark world underneath. specifically, yeah, yes. The cabin thing, yeah. Oh, so All right, yeah. here we go. Final clip. This is 229 okay. uh, COVID and E3 cancer. Can I just say quickly first? There is no torture greater than seeing yourself as others see you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is the description sure. of hell that many would. And <laughs> I'm, I'm having it as I'm saying this because I was <laughs> thinking of like looking at myself from the third person going, that is the description of hell that many authors use. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I do not understand the impulse to go on something like Big Brother where you just oh, live God. your life, you interact with people, you have no idea how it's being perceived and then you come out and it's like... Shut up, on the Merlin. Inter- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People on the internet are like, this guy is the biggest cunt who's ever lived. Yeah. And you're like... I thought I was just chatting to my pals mm. in the house, <laughs> trying to do my best. Well, I know that turkey slapping's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> what can I do? I'm making your content. All right, this is a long one. COVID and E3 cancelled. Here we go. Yeah, Episode might need to have two, the, the finger on the pause 29. button for right. this one. You two, you're feeling scratchy, Ben. Tom is yeah. full on sick. Mm. And right, quick pause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this episode, I believe, is from March 5th. 2020. Right. Just to give you uh, we're, context. We're in the room. Yes, we are. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, no, actually, I believe we're not. Sorry, really? we're recording remotely. I think we'll talk okay. about it, but yeah. Okay. And full blown. Yeah. yeah, you sound full blown too. Your voice is, has changed. Mm. Yeah. That's Finally, that, yeah. A, little, but a couple of pitches deeper. <laughs> <laughs> this postcard. Well, this podcast is hosted by a butch woman. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. can you. Uh, <laughs> Can you hear pausing it? Not because I knew I was going to say that. I was like, let's give it some time to breathe. <laughs> but because you can hear us doing remote recording yeah, yeah, yeah. and not being in the rhythm of it yet. Yes. It's funny. We're pausing and halting and uh, like that's, yeah. That's I weird. haven't l- really listened back to any stuff that I did remotely. If it had been my choice, like... I never would have. <laughs> 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 so but yeah. I mean, since that since that time frame. Yes. Um, I think it would where... be traumatizing personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you like that. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone will be wow. thinking this time. Really kicking him while he's down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? Fight since, back? <laughs> especially since I have a strong suspicion that I caught this from one, if not both of you, last <laughs> week when we recorded. Yes. When yeah. we shared, when we shared one glass that we all drank from mm. and then spat back into and then drank from again. Yeah. When we did our <laughs> yeah. classic like friends promo <laughs> shot milkshake <laughs> drinking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All drinking like um, little pigs out of the one trough, but yeah, it, I don't. We n- none of us. Well, well, I definitely don't. I'm fine, but you don't think it's a uh, Corona boy, but literally our government and doctors and shit are telling us like, hey, maybe f- fucking hang back for a couple weeks. So since yeah. we had the opportunity to do that and record this through the power of technology, well, you know, fuck off, we did yeah. it. Yeah, for a couple of a weeks. A couple of <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> 
the oh. optimistic fruitera. <laughs> I think, and it's like at the t- you like because we all ended up being in the lockdowns for so long, and I think we kind of went a bit early with this show with mm-hmm. doing right. it remotely. I definitely remember thinking down the line, like, well, if I knew it would have been the law for six months at a time, right. I would have been a bit more cavalier about it at the very that's, beginning. That's yeah. an interesting way of interpreting the law. <laughs> You're like, if I'd have known they were going to make murder illegal, I'd have killed a bunch of people yeah. before it came in. The purge, the pre-COVID purge. Exactly, yeah. yeah. See your boys, get some pods in. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to go to my GP tomorrow um, mm-hmm. and I had to – I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's even though you feel like you're doing the right, responsible thing because this weekend I'm meant to be going interstate and doing a bunch of shows and stuff. So mm. it's like, well, I, I sh- I, you know, i got to work out what's going on because I don't want to be on a plane and make other people sick if that's what it is. Yeah. But I just felt – I did feel kind of like a hysterical boomer having to call up my <laughs> GP – and make the appointment, like going, hey, can she see me tomorrow? And the receptionist is like, what's it about? And I'm <laughs> like, uh, it's a, you know, it's about the thing. And she's like, what are the <laughs> symptoms? And I'm like, uh, it's probably not it. You know what? Actually, I feel fine. Don't worry about it. Just so <laughs> embarrassing to have to make that call. I'm sure and the yeah. cancer's just back. It's fine. <laughs> I, don't worry yeah. about me. Can I say, I did end up going to the GP. Yes. Because yeah. that trip I was flying to Adelaide, doing a show there, flying from Adelaide to Brisbane, doing a show there, and then flying back. And I just felt that's so much travel. It's so much like being in rooms with people. I I just like I went to the GP and I was like I don't know what I'm asking you to tell me but like should I should I do this because I'm really feeling unwell and he's like nah don't worry about it and I was <laughs> like Fuck. but what if it's co-? he's like yeah if you still feel sick when you get back then I'll write you up the thing to go and get a COVID test because you had to get yeah. like the referral right. at right. that point and I was like yeah but by the time I get back like the <laughs> the damn it I'm not asking for like my own health mm. I'm trying to like not be on a plane and infect the entire fucking plane. How'd that thing end up spreading? <laughs> <laughs> did you end up doing all those gigs and stuff as well? I did, I yeah. I, got, I, yeah, I right. started to get a bit better, like, right before I left. But, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I, it's pre, I, I guess it's pre... Yeah, it'd be just pre... People advising you yeah, to not try. Right. Yeah, right. Like yeah. two weeks before it at that point. If I right. got to, yeah, I got to Adelaide on the Friday. The comedy festival got cancelled that day and the Grand Prix... In that yes. same day, yes, did right. the Adelaide Fringe, <laughs> went to Brisbane, got home, and then like a couple of days later, they're like, yeah, we're going into lockdown. Yeah, fuck. So, yeah, I got to do this weird little tour of the country where in Adelaide people were like, oh, wh- who knows what's happening? Oh, this is kind right. of crazy, isn't it? We should just like kind of party while we can. And then in Brisbane people were like, literally 24 hours later, people were going, why have we left the house? Mm. This is... So unsafe. Oh, it's fun to reminisce, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's listen more. <laughs> and then she gets on the phone and is like, so what's going on? And I'm like, they, look, these are the symptoms. I don't have any of the respiratory stuff. Da, da, da. And she's like, look, come in tomorrow. We'll take a look at you and we'll tell you you're fine. And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> so, like, I'm happy to not come in. I'm just, isn't this what you're meant to do? Yeah. Get on yeah. the phone and Absolutely. check. I don't know. But, you know, because there is like a hotline for it, mm. but it's, crashed like no one can get through like yeah I, I, this is a great episode of our video games podcast <laughs> <laughs> it's two now yeah. <laughs> just truly for 24 hours have been like i don't know what i'm meant to do oh completely I I, 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 there's heaps of people at work who are walking around with colds and it's like yeah sure like most of the time you go to your work and if you got a cold you don't take a day off M- that's kind yeah. of you know taking a sickie for that is is kind of shitty but it's the fuck, world we live like, in. there's a, a global pandemic on. Maybe stay home, dude. Yeah. Well. Yeah. When you, when you, you, yeah when you think about the fact that yeah for me like I have to fly to uh, two separate cities this weekend to do shows and just the idea of like podcaster infects hundreds <laughs> of people. <laughs> fuck. I, yeah. But then like on the news broadcasts about it, when you're patient zero, they'd all be asking like, so what's a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Still the exact same <laughs> question. <laughs> Ironically, killing off all the elderly with coronavirus gets rid of the people who <laughs> haven't heard of podcasts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One it's step closer to creating that utopian society <laughs> that I'd like to live in. Yes. 
I, <laughs> we're keeping morale up and that's something. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. Like sometimes we've gotten these very nice messages being like, uh, oh, you know, during COVID, you guys really helped actually mm. listening to you. <laughs> that it was this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope all the old people die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really got me through it. How? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel the same that it feels weird to like, take proper precautions but i guess mm. it makes you realize mm. how fucking disrespectful we are towards others when we're regular sick that you just right, walk yeah, around yeah. fucking coughing on everybody like every if you have the opportunity and i understand that casual workers can't do this but it's not the fault of it's not their fault like casual work is an issue for that reason mm. Mm. like there should be yes, a, a yes. way for everybody to not infect others with sickness and it's a weird clash of like just a, a virus popping up and but then it fucks with every single one of our methods of production and distribution mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. our workplace sure. culture <laughs> and every issue that we have with our society is brought to the fore when something like this happens. So I think it's kind of uh, cool. Hopefully it tears that all down. I <laughs> That is the worst thing about going back to anything recorded around this era yeah. is people being like, well, you know, this is like it's all resetting. Yeah, this is big a big opportunity yeah. to, to kind of fix everything that's wrong with the world. I know. And mark my words, on the other side of this, it'll all be different. Mm-hmm. Do you know what's funny? We're about two weeks away at this point from being proven wrong about Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> <laughs> the through line of the podcast, it yes. turns out. <laughs> um, well, it's funny even like in the in the last week. like mm. So a week ago we did the show and you guys were a little sick. Mm. And it's like, all right, yeah, you know, life goes on, a bit sniffly, but what are you going to do? Mm. To then, you know, a week later when this idea of this pandemic has really gripped the news and everything. And, mm. you know, th- just the difference in in a week's time, me going, well, I kind of have to give them the heads up that I'm sick and let them decide what they want to do. That, yeah. that Whereas, you know what I mean? Like last week you guys turned up and I was like, yeah, cool. What are you going to do? You know? Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Last week it was it, uh, like I'm 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 washing my hands, you know, t- twice as long as usual. This week it's like if I notice someone come out of the bathrooms and I don't think they've washed their hands, I'm like giving them an angry glare. <laughs> like it's <laughs> So what are you guys been playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm I'm gripped by paranoia. But I mean yeah. every everyone will the the, I, the whole thing with it right is that like pretty much everyone is going to get it. So mm. it's about mm. minimizing the impact on our oh. healthcare systems and that sort of shit. Yep. Um, yep. And the vulnerable so, obviously trying not to Yeah. Yeah. If we can I mean I do feel whoever. Me clogging up my GP for half an hour tomorrow because I just haven't taken care of myself. Like, I haven't had enough veggies and as a result, I've gotten a little <laughs> bit a of cold. the sniffles. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I t- just do, but it's really put me on my ass. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. The cunt I, who's I like truly in, feel horrific. If you were in, like, one of the World War One trenches, one of the sick bays there, everyone's been shot and their legs blown off and stuff, and you're like, oh, I dropped a box on my foot when we were moving <laughs> to come here. Like, I, I'm sorry. I need help, but, like, this sucks that I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you guys feel a little bit like... Because for me, mm. I'm in my apartment and I'm sitting in the exact same pose and everything I would be <laughs> in if, if you were to be here recording. <laughs> it sort of feels like a bit fight club. Like, what if this is just... <laughs> what if you two are figments of my imagination and this is what it actually looks like to an outside eye every week that we do the show? <laughs> I'm genuinely sitting in, like, the corner of my room looking at the corner <laughs> because <laughs> I... It's the least. <laughs> You're in power down least. mode. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to use all my brain power to focus on this, so I don't want any other distractions. Yes. yes See, I've yes. got. This is me with all of my brain power. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning. Yeah. Oh boy! Hey, talk about your long COVID, huh? Yeah. Oh, brother. Oh. I'm having just like I'm going into like uh, what's it called like muscle memory where like when I can hear you talking in my ear, I'm looking at the part of the room where you would normally be sitting. <laughs> Man, that's maybe you do have something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sta- I'm standing, I'm squatting, I'm squatting on top of my bed. I'm I'm fully <laughs> naked and I've got all the blinds up. 
Um, right. So my neighbours will not have noticed anything different uh, from my usual <laughs> 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 yep. lifestyle. Yep. This time I'm just uh, got chim- a microphone. Chimpanzee boy has come home. Good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's sitting confused on his bed, not quite sure what it is, but he knows that it's soft and that's fe- that feels good. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, well, in in further coronavirus yeah. news, I guess this probably by the time this goes up, this will be confirmed, mm-hmm. fully confirmed. You would think that's the speculation the that, that, that I'm reading. Yeah, yeah. So today, so we're recording this Wednesday <laughs> evening, uh, Australian time, and uh, as of about midday today, a whole bunch of sources claiming that uh, the cancellation of E3 for this year is imminent. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the I think Devolver was like the first company to right. they just they just went rogue and tweeted like hey um, don't don't book a flight if you haven't already if you yeah. if you're planning C- on coming can- like, cancel get your refunds e- cancel your E3 flights and hotels y'all was the yeah. was the exact <laughs> phrasing yeah <laughs> them being like one of the people one of the companies that that holds a press conference every mm. well for the last few years so yeah yeah. They would yep. know. It seems as though E3 has gone through the process of contacting people who need to know first. And yeah, it's right. just we're awaiting like a public announcement from them. But so many journalists have said multiple, multiple sources have confirmed this. It's not happening this year. And it's mm-hmm. no surprise at all, really, at this no, point. No, none at all. No, yeah. But it is weird that the news has been floating around out there for about six hours at this point. And I don't know, maybe this is more to do with the time difference and anything than anything else. They haven't just like jumped in and gone... Oh yeah, okay. Well, if it's if the news is out there, then yes, it's yeah, cancelled. So, so they're in so such p- a um, precarious business position as well, though. Like E three already is yeah. in such a fucked state that they need to well, be so it, careful with how they come at this. The ESA, that's the company we talked about um, a f- couple of months ago that had that sort of expose piece written about them, which was really really interesting. Um, they're the organisation in charge of this. They're apparently the reports are that they are preparing a statement and you're right Knox like they have to prepare this statement like their careers depend on it which they probably do (laughs) yeah Uh, like already Sony was out of E3 Mm -hmm. indefinitely this puts such a question mark over so many other people returning next year when like this was kind of going to be their make or break year in a lot of ways anyway and yeah. to delay that by a whole another year really will have give people <laughs> a lot more time to make other plans and figure out other options for right. how they break this sort of news that they normally break there. I've seen a lot of speculation that this probably means that this is it for E3, like mm. plenty of companies that would have been showing up. Because, you know, the public, the gaming public, like around the world, I don't think it'll make any difference to us. Like those trailers and that marketing has to happen. It'll just probably all still go out at the same Roughly the same time as it would have. Yeah. And probably the end result is plenty of companies walk away from it and go, oh, we actually didn't need to be there at all. <laughs> it's funny that our most accurate prediction there was because we'd read other people's reports <laughs> on what was going to happen. <laughs> but then it weirdly, yeah. it did sort of did come back. But then yeah, yeah. now we're, we're fresh off the back of a year where it just didn't happen, but Fully st- gone. all the marketing mm. did still come out. Totally. Yeah. And hey, we were right about COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Clog it up, the doctor. Yeah, <laughs> couple of weeks. What a weird fine. time! It was a, it weeks. was a long stretch of time for this podcast, and it was a good yes. thing to have to be able to do that journey. It kept me, uh, uh, you know, around. Yeah, yeah. approaching sanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If not, well, we were talking and now last I've week. I've ruined all of that uh, <laughs> mental <laughs> fortitude <laughs> that this helped me build by going back and listening to my own oh. voice. It broke my head the other week when we were saying that that. That's what EP270 mm-hmm. is like the start of COVID and we're now at 400. Like, yeah. It still feels, I mean, it, we, there's an argument to be made that we are still in it. Like mm-hmm. it, all that still feels so recent yeah, and being yeah. like, wait, it's that, we're in the 200s? That's yeah. so long ago. And, uh, yeah, I think more like dividing the podcast into, or, and, and our lives into pe- pre and post COVID and being like, oh, we did the podcast like for a, only a little bit longer pre-COVID than we have during and after. It just doesn't right. feel yeah. that way. It yeah, feels no. like it was a long, 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 long time ago. Yep. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's crazy. 
I'm surprised that you picked that clip out of the episode rather than later in the episode where I say, I reckon Donkey Kong's going to start flipping the bird at people. <laughs> I remember vividly saying that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so that's our little clip show. Yes. Done and dusted, boys. It's a little journey through time mm. <laughs> ending with <laughs> the part of time that was the hardest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, not a lot of clips I want to listen to from during COVID, yeah, I'll sure. say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, hey, and everything but else is too recent. Yeah. yeah. I, I I don't remember it though. The the self editing system is mm-hmm. deleting f- f- everything functionally. So I'll be I, looking forward to in two weeks when I don't remember doing this. Mm. I will say having this to do during COVID mm-hmm. and just gaming in general was so helpful. Oh yeah, stuff kept coming out. There was still stuff to talk about. We could get on Zoom and mm. do the do the job and just kind of forget that things were happening outside because yeah. we'd been playing something during the week. In that last sort of eight years that we've been doing it, the last 400 weeks-ish, a little bit more because we skipped a couple towards the beginning, mm. uh, it has been one of the most consistent things in my life too. Yeah. So it yeah. has been that 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 uh, stability and, and routine thing that has really been helpful. Yeah, totally. me too. Yeah. Me too. So, Hugely. Thank you, everyone, for listening for yes. those 400 episodes or yeah. whichever ones you fucking didn't download <laughs> some weeks because I know you don't, yeah. some of you. <laughs> I force a lot of our new listeners to hear some of episode one. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. Like, it means so fucking much yes. to yes. people listening to this. Without you guys listening, I'd still probably only own a Wii U. So, <laughs> well, thanks for that. What a tragedy that would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I want to echo that. It's It's so awesome. Um, to be able to do this as a job now in a studio, you yep. know, like we're, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a genuine privilege and uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same show without you guys. It, you know, I, I can't imagine doing something for eight years with anyone. Yeah. Well, else. as I said, <laughs> 400. I, the, yeah. the first week where you guys weren't in the room, I went mental and just pretended right. I was talking <laughs> to the parts of the room where you normally sit. Yeah, no, that's pretty <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for letting us do it for 400 episodes or, as I thought earlier, about 320-something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, who sent in clips and yes. uh, and suggestions of clips and stuff like that. And, yes. uh, yeah, if you've ever listened or recommended it or uh, interacted with us in any way, we really appreciate that. We do. Sorry we couldn't get to the Nintendo Direct this week, but we'll cover it next week. And Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Yeah. Good ep. Should we mention as well that next month is July, which means that it's Giant July around these parts. It's Giant July. The Filthy Casuals Pledge Month where uh, we would love, uh, if you have listened to this or watched this and you're not a patron, uh, we'd love you to jump on board and to incentivize you to try it out for the first time. Mm -hmm. We got uh, four... Bonus bonuses on top of the normal bonuses. Yep. Mm-hmm. We are doing a, a live gaming session. Yep. We are doing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew the word session came out weird yeah. there, right? <laughs> Not Trumpish. Yeah. The live we gaming session. for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I played the game right and they deleted me. <laughs> they banned me. Uh, I predict he won't get re-elected. <laughs> No, we always get them wrong. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, do it like, uh, yeah, playing games with some patrons. We one are of the doing weeks. releasing film commentary. Film commentary of The Wizard, starring Fred Savage. Is it The, the Wizard? Yes, it is. Okay, The Wizard. Mm-hmm. The Wiz is the um, Michael Jackson. Yes. Wizard of Oz. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So uh, The Wizard. Uh, we are doing also a playthrough of yes. something yes. and yes. exclusive to the Patreon for yeah, that. Yeah. And like a premium long form episode on. A silly topic. A silly topic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of fun, and you get all of the backlog of stuff as well. When That's you right. Sign up there, and yep. yeah, I don't know if you if you've come and going sometimes, and and obviously money is one of the most valuable things in the world. Mm. Um, so it means it's the world that to us. And then gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gold is the money standard of money. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if if you if you feel like hopping on, mm. it, it helps us do four hundred more of these. And uh, yeah, exactly. It yeah. Means exactly right. A ton to us, and thank you. Don't say it often enough because I struggle with it and you can see I'm not even making eye contact with the camera (laughs) but thank you very much yeah thanks everyone thanks for listening we'll see you next time and as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals no it's episode one I'm doing this voice for some reason (laughs) I grew out of that